Hello and welcome to the session of KSG podcast. In this session, I would be talking about the legality behind the quarantine and lockdown measures taken by the government during these turbulent times of COVID-19. Firstly, it should be noted that any measure to preserve public health has to be within the limits placed by the constitution. In this context, it becomes important to highlight the fact that the word quarantine appears twice, I repeat twice in the entire length and breadth of the constitution. Furthermore, both appearances of the word quarantine is in the union list mentioned in the 7th schedule. The first appearance of the word is in entry number 28 which deals with port quarantine including hospitals connected therewith. The second mention of the word is in entry number 81 which deals with interstate migration and interstate quarantine. Therefore it becomes clear that quarantine especially at the port of entry into India is the responsibility of the union government. The legal framework for quarantine at the port of entry is provided by the Indian Ports Act 1908 and the Aircraft Act 1934. Under the terms of both of these legislations rules have been formulated which deals with public health issues. These rules are Aircraft Public Health Rules 1954 which have been replaced by the Aircraft Public Health Rules 2015 formulated under the terms of Aircraft Act 1934 likewise the other set of rules are the Indian Port Health Rules 1955 formulated under the terms of Indian Ports Act 1908 under the terms of these rules health officers can be appointed by the central government at the port of entry to check the health status of the people entering into india the health officers is empowered to inspect the aircraft or the carrier vessel its passengers its crew and subject them to medical examination now coming to the term lockdown first and foremost it should be noted that the word lockdown is not mentioned either in the constitution or in the crpc The word has been used by the government in a general sense to make the general public understand the restrictions that were placed by the government on various activities to counter the spread of the coronavirus. But then the moot question is that what is the legal backing of lockdown? The answer to the question lies in the reading of section 144 of CRPC which empowers an executive magistrate to pass orders imposing restrictions on different type of activities within his or her jurisdiction furthermore it should be noted that anyone who violates such orders can be imprisoned under the terms of section 188 of ipc for 6 months and can also be subject to a fine of rupees 1000 section 188 of the ipc has been appearing in the newspapers during this corona crisis for the simple reason that causing danger to human life health or safety are one of the grounds for invoking the section so this in a nutshell was all about the legality of quarantine and lockdown thanks very much